What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Business Breakthrough here with Brett Fisher, longtime listener, first time caller. Uh, I'm just kidding. What's up, man? Welcome, uh, welcome to the Breakthrough Series, man. How are you? Doing well. How about you, Tanner? Good, my man. Good. So let's get into it, man. You uh, you called the meeting. Tell me a little bit about the business. I'd love to hear what you've built thus far, and and uh, you know, lay lay it on me, man. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm probably, you know, a little uh, earlier in the in the painting journey, um, I guess you could say, than some of your other guests. Um, sure. Right now, I'm actually I'm still working a full time job um, Love it. in a different different industry. Um, yeah. Hoping to hoping to get out of it. Um, Are you at the job chain. right now? I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, we yeah, got a basement that that uh, one IT guy works. And I was like, okay, let me just uh, go down here yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give my I call. So, it. you know, it's, it's, uh, so yeah, I've been doing this for about 10 years. Um, okay. you know, I've kind of wow. made my way up through the ranks and, um, you know, make a good living, but ultimately the last, you know, probably three or four years I've, I've been really wanting to go out on my own, um, you know, start a business and I've tried a couple of things, um, but I've really kind of landed on the trades and then now specifically, uh, you know, the painting industry, it just seems good, like good landing spot. A, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. And it's, <laughs> it seems like it's a growing industry. There's huge demand and there's a yep. lot of, you know, individual, um, you know, smaller companies, um, that don't necessarily have that professionalism, uh, the systems, um, that, you know, you and others kind of talk about. So I feel mm -hmm. like I could kind of bring my business knowledge with, you know, yep. standard operating procedures and all this other stuff into the business and then, um, you know, kind of, kind of grow it from there. What scares you the most about taking the leap, man? Um, I guess part of it's security, um, you know, financial security and, um, uh, I guess just the fear of the un unknown, you know, I, I know what I'm doing every day when it comes to my current job, where it comes to painting, you know, I've done a lot of research, you know, I know, I know, you know, for the most part what to do, but I just don't have that experience yet. Um, but you know, that'll come with time. So what you're about to do is like, it's like the ticket to entry. Um, because when you get to the other side of it, that is the unknown. You will live in the unknown every day. Mm -hmm. You know, so the fear of the unknown is, uh, you know, that's just, that's just the, the gate. Um, but when you get into it, it everything's unknown and you got to utilize things that you're doing now, resources, people that are reaching out and, and, and seeing like, Hey, this is possible. What I love is that you've, you're already generating revenue and you're doing it part time. The, mm -hmm. the big fear generally speaking is, is if I do this and I fail, what will come of me, right? You've built something, whatever that is right now, 10 years working at a job. I'm sure you're moving up the ranks or you have just the structure, you have bills to pay. Um, so the answer I'm not, I'm going to give you is like, obviously, you know, you need to take the leap. The time that you're spending now could be time building this business. There will never be a time that you're going to feel 100. I'll just make this clear, man. You're never going to feel 100% ready. You're not, there's no yeah. way no one feels that. And it's like, okay, God or whatever you believe in is like, you're good. You know, you're protected mm -hmm. for the next, you know, three months. It isn't going to be the case. Um, right. If you had to go, let's say you got fired for doing this interview on the clock. What, uh, <laughs> you know, seriously, what would be your move? Um, I, I think I'd, you know, basically go all in on the marketing, you know. Um, it's, and why you aren't know, you doing that paid. right now? Why, why, are, well, see, the thing I, is you have the hedge of security I, right now. So the risks yeah. you should be taking should be like big, you know? So what, what have so, you done so far for marketing? So I, yeah, I have been hitting the marketing hard. I mean, I do have a, you know, business coach that I hired. I felt like I was kind of cool. stagnant. Nice. So, um, someone that, you know, in a different industry, but he scaled two other businesses to six figures. Yeah. Um, plus, so the principles are um, the same. It's the rendering of the service that's different. It's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of the knowledge uh, I get from guys like you and, and other people, you know, on YouTube and whatnot. Um, so tell me about so the marketing. Just kind of what are you doing? All that. Yeah. I'm, uh, well on my off time, um, I'm, I'm going door to door. I got flyers. 
Um, okay. I even have one guy that, um, that, you know, not every single day, but, you know, as far as like a part-time gig, he'll help me. So I'll, I'll give him, um, you know, uh, money to do that. And then I'm also doing yard signs. I got okay. 300 yard signs. I'm about halfway through and those okay. were, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, and do you have anyone helping you, else? um, do the work? I know you said that you're in the brush now. Do you have anyone helping you or are you the only one? Yeah. So recently, you know, within the past few weeks, I got a subcontractor that I'm working with. Okay. It's him and three other guys. Um, you know, I, last year, you know, going into the winter, I kind of was on the brush myself more so just trying to get like, you know, extra cash on the side. Um, but then I quickly realized, you know, I rather just scale this and, you know, be more of a business owner rather than just a trades, a tradesman, uh, partially because of the, the limited time I have. Um, but also just long term, I never really wanted to just be a painter. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they they have a lot of capacity and. Uh, you know, between all of them, they, they each have like 15, 20 years. Are they experience. working right now? Um, not, not on my job, but okay. yeah, I mean, every day. So every here's day. the deal. You found gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have loyal workers that do a great job, which have already rendered work for you. And yeah. you're letting someone else capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. And there's something that happened there. And for me, if you can't figure that out right now, it's going to be a hard road for you when you're in the unknown, because that's the secret. The secret is how can I keep the best people busy? And I love yeah. you for, you already have the right mindset for this, which is easy now because it's really just a matter of limiting beliefs. Door mm -hmm. knocking and putting out yard signs is not the move Specif specifically for somebody who is working a full-time job. You need to be putting money on the internet and running yeah. ads. Like Have Facebook you done and any Google ads. Like Facebook and Google um, ads. Yeah. I, last year I did some Facebook. Um, that is something that I'm working with. Tell the, me what I want to know that. What was, what was some Facebook? Cause that, cause if you, here's another <laughs> thing. If you try, there's only so many avenues. If you try one and fail at it, you're apprehensive to do it again. Or if you tried one and you didn't do it the right way, you're still, your perception of it is skewed of what it should be. So what is tried yeah. some Facebook? Mean? I, I think I, you know, I created a, a basic. Created the you know, post ad. and boosted it, right? I, yeah, I boosted it. So okay. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time and Good. I didn't put a ton of money into it. Yeah. So I think yeah. I really wasn't as committed last year. Okay. What um, Do you have anything so going on right now in the business marketing wise online? Um, the only thing is just getting my socials, you know, okay. posting. None of that matters anymore different. because they can't, they can't, okay. they don't even show your posts anymore to anybody. <laughs> There's not okay. enough room on well, the feed. Also in Facebook groups. Um, but that's just a, that's not like a mean. I've source, never obviously. capitalized on it. We share in groups pretty, pretty often. Every now and again, we get a lead. What I want you mm -hmm. to do is I want you to realize that how you maneuver your money going forward is going to be the big difference for you because as an employee for the last 10 years, your strategy with money is get your paycheck, pay your bills, save what's left. Yes? Right. Because that was yep. mine. Right? And well, there's some spending, yep. but it was generally personal spending of luxury or entertainment. The big difference yep, here absolutely. for you is get the money, pay your team, reinvest. Mm -hmm. Pay yourself, save what's left. And that's how the money needs to move in a growing business. And the fact of the matter is, is right now you've been doing this for almost a year, dude. Right? Yeah. Yeah. About mid, and you generated probably based on the numbers you sent me, probably within 70 to $80,000 in revenue. Is that true? No, I mean, I was just giving an estimate as far as like the recent. Um, you say it's like recently. 50 grand? So no, mm, I'd say less. A little bit less. So yeah, what I would less. consider not, is like, yeah. if I can emphasize anything to you in this coaching call, man, is that you found a subcontracting crew that you trust while you're working. Do you know how bad, like people listen to this are like, dude, I can't <laughs> even find a freaking employee to trust when I'm working. And you got a whole crew of three yeah. that produces good work, right? So yeah, I'm, I think I found it on one of the Facebook groups. It might even been. So yours. you have a good relationship he, he, with him. Yeah, yeah, and he's he basically is, uh, you know, not a guy 
that wants to like scale a business. He just wants to yeah, he just wants busy to work. and do the work. You know how many people are yeah. like that? So you're a business guy and you're a salesperson, but you're also a marketing firm. And what you need to understand right. is that you're selling leads to him, but you're selling them at a premium more than what you got them for. So if you, mm -hmm. if you put a thousand dollars to Facebook, which isn't very much, and that generates you five estimates. Okay. It's pretty expensive, but let's just go with $200 per estimate, right? Yeah. Generally speaking, most painting jobs are around three grand each, right? Yeah. Yeah. On average, would you say a 20, would you say a 20% closing ratio is like a terrible salesperson? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But let's say you're a terrible salesperson. You just sold two jobs at six grand, which is the bare minimum generally, right? You spent a thousand. You brought in six grand. There's some cost to that, right? Doing performing yeah. two jobs, you probably a thousand in cost. That leaves us five grand. Subtract the one thousand dollars. That's four grand, right? That's how much is left. You got to pay your sub. Mm -hmm. Let's say you pay him half of that, two grand, and you just made two grand simply by putting the money in and moving it over and creating a service and then getting money out. And if you can just yeah. understand that concept, it's easy to spend money on Facebook. It's easy to spend money on Google. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a matter much of better that. return than, than putting it into the S and P 500 and waiting you know, uh, 40 years. Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Cause I that's mean, what, you, I mean, is, yeah, I mean, you were, or, you, you were in corporate, right? I mean, that's what yes. they tell you. Okay. Put, put it your into 401k. your 401k. Your I bet IRA. you have money in your 401k that if you took out and put it into Facebook marketing and, and spun paint jobs out of it, you would grow it a lot faster. Yeah, I think, I think so. I'm, I want you to understand another concept that it's hard for you to see right now. Okay. Um, do you have a family? Like, uh, yeah, well, that's, that's another thing that's going on in my life. Uh, I, you know, I have a wife and a stepson, but, um, unfortunately we're, uh, you know, getting divorced. So we're selling so, the house. Um, okay. so I'm kind of going through that and, and at the same sure, time, it's a lot, so. man, that's a lot of pressure yeah. for somebody. Um, well, yeah, I'm sorry and I, and to hear I've that. been this, the, yeah, no, I appreciate it. Um, it, it. It's fine. Um, I've been pretty much the, the sole provider for, you know, most of the marriage. So, um, yeah, and, and so, still continuing that through the, through the situation. All right. So you have a lot of adversity going on. Um, <laughs> so, well, but to be honest with you, man, like, I think there's this certain thing that you're going to channel, whether it's a family motivation, or maybe you'll still be there for your stepson or whatever the situation is. Mm -hmm. I think we're all here to serve one another, whether that's our family. And when you get to a point where you are on your own and other people are counting on you, and that could be these subcontractors that you really grow relationships with, because you know, if you don't sell these jobs, they're not going to be able to feed their family, right? That can only be triggered when your back's against the wall. Tony Robbins, he's made this concept very popular. It's burn the boats. If you want to take the island, burn your way home. Yeah. Yeah. It forces you to, you know, do the work and do whatever it takes or else. No, it forces you to yeah. take risks every day. That's what it does. It's not about okay. doing work. It's just about taking risks every day and just getting comfortable with failure and, uh, and the chance of you being homeless. You, you right. wrote here on this note here that you gave me that you said you're hoping to go full time in the painting business this year. You know, we're in, yeah. we're in yeah. February. I mean, do you honestly really see you quitting? Be honest. Um, you're saying like this year or I'm saying like within the next three months, the next 90 days, can you see you putting your two weeks notice in going all in on the painting business? Yeah. Yes. You I can. Could. Okay. I could, for sure. What would stop and you? Honestly, from if it comes down to it, okay, if it doesn't work out, I just go get a job and then, and continue on the you, side. Of like course, dude. You, well, it's, you're not, not you're you, it's not a problem. Why won't you do it this week? <laughs> well, I mean, still got bills to pay. I still got, you know, credit cards. Still got to um, support the family. Still, you know, that kind That's of thing. That's not going to change in it's... in ninety days, Brett. It's never going to change. I'm just letting you know. Like, just be aware yeah. of these things because if we tell ourselves we'll do it tomorrow or in ninety days, 
what's mm-hmm. going to happen is 90 days comes and there's still going to be family. There's still going to be bills to pay. Credit cards are due. At some point, you need to just pull the trigger and say, F it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then guess what happens? The whole day you're focused on finding a paint job. And guess what will happen? You'll find one because the market for painting is so big. It's not only the outside of homes. It's the inside of homes. It's not only the walls, trim, ceilings, and doors. It's the freaking cabinets. It's not just the cabinets. It's the garage floor. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot. There's There's staining too and other, you know. Okay. Do you have three thousand dollars? Yeah. Okay. You need to hire a marketing agency to generate you leads because that is the only thing that's going to give you the confidence to quit when you have leads hitting you up constantly, wanting estimates. It's the only thing mm-hmm. that'll make you feel confident that you know at least when you quit, you have people to interact with, you have estimates in the works, you have potential work in the pipeline, and then you'll never look back. Yeah. You can't do ads on your own. You don't ever do ads on your own. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, and I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying, no, don't no, do your no, bookkeeping I... on your own. Don't do your ads on your own. Don't try to tackle SEO. What you need to be good at, Brett, is selling paint jobs, brother. Mm-hmm. And I think you're good at it. I think you naturally yeah. come across as someone trustworthy. I think you would be good at something like that. And I think the only yeah. thing stopping you is is the confidence to leave, which really, if you just had, if you had five leads that requested estimates today and you're sitting in your office hiding phone calls trying to get in touch with them wouldn't that make you say i need to get out of here yeah oh for sure and right now it's been one you know maybe one give or take Uh, but out of those five i could probably close i you know three i would say i think i think i'm not like a natural oh yeah for sure and the thing I'll, is, is you have the confidence because you know that your, your team that you have is going to perform. And right now yeah. they're my, they are, do you even know what they're doing right now? Are they working for someone else right now? I don't know. Um, but he did, he, I talked to him, I think yesterday. Um, and he basically said that like, we're hungry for interiors right now. Like bro, they don't have a bro, ton booked up. You so should be he's just so to... focused on finding those dudes work. Do you know how lucky you are to not have to do the work? <laughs> i'm serious Very. bro even i had to do the freaking work when i started if i had a yeah. team of three that was a crew like that i didn't know what i was yeah. doing you have a golden ticket you know and the cool <laughs> thing is, is could you balance this out with your job currently yeah you could you know but you know personally speaking that's a short-term strategy and the mm-hmm. quicker you make this move the more you're going to be able to learn that you, the things you need to learn because you can scale this yeah. business to a million dollars in a year or, or not in a year. I don't think it'd be a year. I think it'd be a little over a year. You're going to need three teams of those guys to perform that. But, you know, start now, man. You can find yeah. another job. Yeah. You're, uh, I mean, you're, you're so limited at your job where there's really, there's so much upside with, you know, with growing a business. Huge upside. I think yeah. the next play for you is you need to hire a marketing agency to get the word out of this company. Okay. Facebook yeah, ads. I, I, I like what you're thinking. I mean, outsource what you don't know. I'm I was never a marketer, you know. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Stop, you think Facebook worry. and Most and businesses, think about it this way. In two years, you could have a million dollar a year painting business. I've seen it done. It's possible. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you know that most franchises um, that promise $100,000 a year in net income require at least a hundred thousand dollar to hundred fifty thousand dollar investment in order to guarantee a hundred thousand dollar a year net income i'm not talking about painting franchise i'm talking about like let's say like a restaurant franchise Mm -hmm. do you know that like all i'm asking you to do is spend three grand with a facebook marketer who can generate you leads and you could be well on your way to earning a six-figure income do you, th- do you think that's kind of the ticket? That's the that's the first step. Um, the first step is making sure to, that you have leads, leads, and you know, yeah. you, you say that you're knocking on doors, but you know, Facebook is digital door knocking. You know, I'd prefer to be on there. I'd rather spend my money than knock right. on freaking doors, dude. Yeah, you know? I was just Rinse thinking with, with 
yeah, with cash being limited, you know, get some jobs and then invest in the, in, in the you digital gotta, market. But there's got to be some sort of risk that takes place here. I mean, you have to go into the savings. You got to take the money out of the freaking 401 dead K, uh, you know, <laughs> and, yeah. and that's not going to, you, you and I both know that the 401k isn't going to do anything. It's a nice little nugget, but it's not going to yeah. propel you into retirement. It's going to propel you into retirement and a life of, like comfort is this painting business. Right. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. And, and I just look at my, years. you have for 10 years. No, you, you, you've been in your job. Oh, for oh, 10 oh, years. oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's about to be, you know, cutting the half. other side <laughs> is okay, bro. I'll be honest with you, man. It's cool over here, man. And there's a lot of support in this community. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm here for you. If you, if you run into a jam and you're in a position where you're kind of uncertain what your next move is, I know you're in our groups. I know that you listen to the podcast. I mean, dude, just plug in, man, plug in. And, and you got a bunch of other people that are living in uncertainty, working together to figure this thing out. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the biggest thing, you know, why I invested in a coach and while I will invest in, uh, you know, a marketer. Um, yeah, where I just is, I want that other side. Like I, I want you to get good at I, making decisions. You don't need a coach. A coach is good to give you strategy on how to grow the painting business. A coach is not mm -hmm. there to to do anything other than point you in a direction. But the thing is, dude, like quitting this job is the confirmation to yourself that you're ready for this. And if you delay this any longer, you're just going to delay your your future potential of actually because you need to be an all-in type of person for this right. you can't just be one foot in one foot out and hope that you have a thriving business you and i both know you want to be on those jobs you want to be shaking hands with your customers you want to be in the networking groups you want to be mm -hmm. you want to be that guy in order to grow a real business and you're sitting in a basement in your in your job right now when you could be out doing the thing that you love Right. And it's because you don't know where the next dollar's coming from. But let me tell you, man, you're never going to have that confirmation. If you have a couple grand in the bank, you'll be fine. And worst case scenario, there's always, I'm that type of guy too. I'm thinking, hey, worst case scenario, what could I, dude, you get another job. Exactly. This yeah, company could fire yeah. you. I just wanted you to be very under, you know, you're at more risk with this company than you would be in your own painting business. You do know that, right? Oh yeah. And, and the funny thing is not to go into my history, but you know, I was working at aerospace company, went over to this packaging company in 2020. And, um, the idea was I was going to uh, train under this guy for several years. Well, he gets fired the next, next month I start. So I'm on my own with one, one buyer and it's in the middle of the pandemic with all the supply chain issues. And mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm crushing it. I mean, it was like ridiculous 60, 70 hours a week you know, for what, you know, just so the company, uh, you know, can keep selling. And we had like record sales in 2021 and 2022. And then this lady that I reported to, she ended up getting to be a CFO. She went ahead and basically fired like all these people because, um, you know, changes with the board of directors was a joint venture. Anyways, I got fired last year and I was like, no I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I, you know, quickly got a job in the, in the same industry, but, um, I was like, I was crushing this role and for no reason, cause she didn't like me. Um, yeah, and, yeah. and that, that was like an eye opener and I probably should have just like not even found a job. I should have just went all in on the painting business in hindsight. Um, yeah. because I was just like, these people can just fire me whenever they want and there's no repercussions. It's an at will state. Um, yeah, you know, that, just well, I that mean, kinda... at the end of the day, like the thing is, is man, like you become, um, a hunter, man. Like when you make that decision, you got to be ready for that. It's scary sometimes, man. You don't really know mm -hmm. where your next meal's coming from, but it's possible, man. I'm on the other side. There's many people that are on the other side. You have a lot of leverage being a business guy, having a team already that many people struggle to even find one employee, bro. Okay. Like I can't emphasize this enough. What what I'm feeling called to tell you is that you need to make the move. And I think it needs to be something that you feel certain about. And you're okay with yeah. the worst case scenario, but you're optimistic about the best case scenario. You see an opportunity to create the life that maybe you wanted 
that you don't feel like you have. Maybe you're not happy right now, but I guarantee you, you'll be proud of yourself for making the decision. It'll feel scary for two weeks. You'll probably be in a really weird state, but what'll be cool is, is that all your focus will go in your painting business. And that obviously yeah. will produce a result. Yeah. You're not scared. Yeah, because right cool. now it's. You can find something to paint, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, I mean, something just in my market, I'm in Northeast Ohio and. Yeah. You know, over 3 million. How much do you people, make a day right now? I mean, uh, probably, I think it was like, I mean, like in my, in my, uh, nine to five. On average, just, just give me an average, a range average. of what you make right now per day. I think it was like 270, maybe. 270. Do you know that that's 80K a year? 80 you know, K-year. that's one bedroom. <laughs> net profit one yeah. freaking bedroom yeah god forbid you get a living room brother yep what, and what, another what, thing i did another thing i did which is like very motivating I, I plugged in this calculator that shows what your average um you know hourly pay is when it comes to the commute okay i commute an hour and a half when it comes to the time it takes to get ready all that stuff the gas you know i'm making like less than 20 bucks an hour I was like, if I can make more than that in my painting business. You will. Brett, I'm yeah. trying to make it clear to you. We can come up with all the different <laughs> reasons why. But at the end of yeah, the day, the worst, absolutely. absolute worst thing that happens is, is you suck, which you've already proven it works. And you're in a position where you have to go apply for other jobs with your abundant amount of experience. The best thing you could possibly do at this stage of what I feel like, and I don't know you that well, but I'm saying you're in a you're in a very adverse position in life. You're having a relational change. You're going through a lot of change right now, but there's some momentum here to make Mm -hmm. something good out of it. And I think getting out of a routine will help you cope better. If this is something that's been bothering you, at least for me, when I get out of a routine or I make a change or a shift in my physiology or my environment, Mm -hmm. it'll be something that you can just put your focus on, man. And like, if that's a gift that you can give to yourself, I would put in the two weeks as soon as today. And I know that's crazy. You might think, oh my God, I can't. But you got to <laughs> listen to what your brain is telling you. It's probably saying, how are we going to pay this? How are we going to pay this? And it's, it goes right to scarcity because that's what your, our, that's what our anatomy wants us to be in is a position yeah, of safety. That's what the default is. Scared. That's the default, bro. And I think there's, you got to activate that switch that says, I have a, a community behind me. I've sold these jobs before. I have team members that are ready to paint for me. All I have to do is show up at the door. Are you using drip jobs? Do you have drip jobs yet or no? Um, no, but I do have a uh, call with, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Dominic? Dominic. Yeah, I think okay. on Monday. When's that? Monday? So, okay. So, yep, so Monday, same so time. So he, He's going to hook you up probably with 60 days free. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll tell him to. So you don't have to pay for drip yeah. jobs for two months. That'll help, right? So. Yeah. But Honestly, I'm, I'm, man, I was definitely going to sign up. I mean, yeah. So I'll like tell you the, what, the best, you ready for uh, this? CRM. You ready for this? If you put in your two yeah. weeks notice by next Friday, I'll give you four months of drip jobs for free. How about that? <laughs> okay. Okay. You, I feel it. Good with that? There you go. So yeah. there's a little bit yeah, of I'm motivation. For you. you like that? I'm telling you, man, like I'm going to connect you with who you need to talk to for ads. I'm going to get you the right person so you, you can trust yeah. that they're not going to waste your money. I only give people information of people that I, I trust. And I think I have the perfect person for you. And I also have a coach for you um, that's painting specific that works with startup. And he's a very good guy. He's he's going to get you to a certain place, but someone you can just chat with, right? It'd be really beneficial okay. um, to, to, to work with these individuals, man. There's a community here. Um, but I hope that was helpful. Did, you, did this help? It was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was. Great. I'm fired I mean, up for you. It's just a what different would... mindset. It's it's an abundance oh, mindset dude. rather than just a scarcity mindset. Dude, it's so <laughs> abundance. It's all abundance mindset. You got to believe in yourself, man. You have to. You've already done this. You have all the tools. I can't even believe that we're even having this conversation, but it's okay because I was there and I understand. Mm-hmm. You're way way ahead of what I was. I didn't have anyone like helping me uh, with yeah. with doing the work. So for for you to be at such a position now, it's like, come on, man, let's just do this. Get this over with. Let's get this business up and running so you can create a business. And be the manager that you wish you had, right? You're obviously, exactly. I've been in corporate, you know that. So like I've had those managers that made me feel inferior because they couldn't produce what I was doing and they had power. And no, some people can't, 
it's hard for people in corporate to harness power in, a, in an effective way because mm-hmm. part of the reason why is because great leaders lift up their subordinates. However, when it comes to corporate, they're not rewarded for doing that. Um, it's right. more so they're going to hide things to make themselves look good in the eye of their superior. It's a terrible, it's a terrible system. But what's great oh, is, is. is that you get, you know what I'm saying? I hope you get that. Like, cause what you're, what you're oh, able 100%. to do here is like, dude, you could create culture if you want to transition to employees eventually and have a yep. culture and a team and a manager. Yep, that's what I want to do. I mean, it's there. So, um, good I want to do a bonus man. structure for the painters and, you know, love that. and, and kind of like, my good friend allow Eric them has to a, grow. Dude, actually, I signed uh, up for my, it. oh, you're in Eric's thing? Eric, uh, yeah, Fosnight. Cool. Yeah. So yep. he, he has the W2 bonus structure uh, course that's yeah, coming up. Yeah. He's just north right of me on. in Cleveland. No kidding. It's awesome. Yep. Yeah. You should connect with him. He's a heck of a guy. Oh, you know, yeah. I've, I've been messaging him back and has forth. He mentioned, has he mentioned marketing to you? No, not yet. Okay. I know he he I'm, owns an agency, right? Yeah. So there's he's a person I trust very much, right? So there's a lot here, man. But what I want you to do is sit on all that. Um, and I hope to hear the good news that you made the leap. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to work out in your favor. Absolutely. No, I, I think so, too. Cool, man. Well, good I, luck. I appreciate the time, Tanner. Yeah, of course, brother. Thank you.